thing you need to know from the start about investing in stocks is there will always be a reason not to invest. There will always be some sort of economic, market, or political event that according to the media will send the stock market crashing down. And when that crisis fails to destroy the market, the media does not move on to a blue skies and sunny forecast, they move right on to the next crisis. Just in the past several years, we've seen all kinds of reasons to bail out of the stock market, whether it was the COVID pandemic, the 2020 presidential election, overpriced stocks, inflation, the Russia-Ukraine war, and so on. But the truth is, the stock market has rewarded those who have stayed invested. From the beginning of 2020 until April 1st, 2022, the S&P 500 is up about 40%. That's just over the last two years or so. For those of you familiar with the bucket plan, and if not, we have a separate video on that, we recommend keeping an even longer term perspective when investing in stock. If we look back over the last 10 years, from April 1st of 2012 to April 1st of 2022, the S&P 500 is up about 225%. There's no doubt we experienced some major volatility over those 10 years, but it paid off to stay invested. So I wanna give you a few keys to remain invested during stock market volatility. Number one, understand declines are common. Every year the stock market is down at some point, but it has always recovered. Number two, don't try to time the market. Getting out of the market to reduce losses could mean losing out on gains when stocks recover. And number three, keep your goals in mind. Money for short-term goals should not be invested in the stock market in the first place. Longer-term goals are still years away, which allows the stock market time to recover. I hope this has helped give you perspective on stock market volatility. As always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or concerns.